I think it's every parent's dream that their children follow their passions. Um, and for me, it's I hope my children find their passions and follow and pursue them, um, even if they're different from my own. And I wouldn't expect them to take on my daydreaming ways and play the thin odds of taking animals with traditional archery gear. Yet here we are, father and son, on the quest to spot, stalk, and shoot black bears with a recurve and longbow. Couple mosquitoes here, wouldn't you say? We cross a tiny creek, it looks innocent enough, but I find it waist deep and bone chilling cold when I land short and I jump to the other side. Beartopia. Right up there. All we gotta do is survive the bugs. Climb the hill to enter a maze of brush and downed timber. We climb hard for an hour only to find that conditions only get worse. With that, we decide to retreat and look for another area. We take a different route to the truck on our way back and we find the tiny creek impossible to cross at no fewer than six places. How deep was it back there, Clarence? <laughs> Don't show mom. <laughs> Well, we didn't fall in. Well, I fell in, but not, not there. <laughs> we'll get across this wretched little thing yet. With the sun going down and the mosquitoes coming up, we drive north to higher elevations where we hope to camp in a breeze that keeps the mosquitoes at bay. Alas, we find it. By the time we secure the teepee and cook up our grub, it's past one in the morning. A few hours sleep always brings a different perspective. We wake to hot sun and calm wind. The plan is to drive north to Coldfoot, top off the fuel, then head back south and hunt the hills around the Canuti River. We got full on fueled up at Coldfoot. So we've got a lot of range going south. We spend the remainder of the long day hiking and glassing the vast valley that flanks the Canuti River. I've always had an attraction to this country and I'm excited to see if it holds game. After we've hiked our last mile, and our eyes have tired of looking through the binoculars at an empty landscape, we make camp at a place with a view and dried firewood. Just days before the hunt, Clarence made an adjustment to the way he grips his bow. It's revolutionized his whole shooting style, and I'm in awe of how well he's hitting. Like I said, we're playing thin odds here, father and son, trying to spot, stalk, and kill bears with the simplest of hunting tools. Thin odds in the bear hunt, yes, maybe a million to one. The sun dips to the horizon on our last night of the hunt. In four days, we haven't so much as seen a bear. Then again, I'm here in Alaska, the place I love. We shoot, we laugh, we pull our arrows and we shoot again.
On this night, falling short doesn't feel too bad. Not too bad at all.